Hey, hey, hey. So I want to talk to you for a moment about entrepreneurial artistry. What is that you say? What is that, Paul? What is entrepreneurial artistry? It's this. When you couple your creativity, and I'm not talking about people who call themselves creatives. I have no idea what a creative is. They're, people are creative. Creativity is a verb. <laughs> um, I know. Creativity can be a noun, too. And an adverb. Well, it's a many-headed beast, isn't it? But this whole premise is that creativity and entrepreneurship couple together. And when you do that, when you use that as best as you can, you end up with the ability to actually capitalize on what you know how to do in a way that attracts people to your work so that you can gain money in exchange for knowledge, creative instincts, unique authority in a particular you know, niche of stuff, some opinions, some thoughts, some research that you do. The interesting thing for me is that creativity is the opposite of scripted bullshit. And there are so many people in this online world trying to get like this leg up, doing stuff that's actually unfortunately scripted bullshit. And I am not knocking the people who offer the scripts, nor am I knocking the people who buy the scripts. Everybody wants to make things easy. We're all looking for a way to do it as simply as possible. The entrepreneurial artistry is a many-headed beast. That's the name of this particular post. It's a many-headed beast. However, you have to couple a method that extracts the entrepreneurship and extracts the artistry and integrate that with a strategy for putting things out there. This isn't anything new. I'm not telling you anything you haven't heard before. You and I both know that in order to make anything and put it out there in such a way that you can actually, you know, earn a living at it, you need the business side of things and a unique way of doing it or saying it or delivering it so that it makes it compelling and interesting. There are many, many, many extremely good, talented musicians who do not have their own entrepreneurial strategy and or don't have a small team of people who want to do that strategy stuff and implement the business side of putting their stuff out there. And therefore, they will only ever be, you know, playing in a bar on weekends in their hometown locally for fun. Maybe they'll get paid a few dollars and maybe they'll get their drinks covered. Good. That's fine. There is plenty of space in the world for community artists who make some kind of, you know, amateur, relatively good or relatively not good still lives with puppies and flowers. Landscape stuff that's, you know, kind of okay. That's fine. That's fine. What, what turns the work into something that gains a foothold or a handhold or some kind of hold in the international scene and starts to turn it into something that you can make money from is coupling the understanding of the power of a method that brings your creativity to a badass level and also integrates the strategy of business, the business acumen. And without both of those coming together, molding, joining nice and, you know, tight like a 
nice strong snowball that you can really club somebody with. <laughs> that is what it takes to actually raise the stuff to the high level that brings you a certain amount of notoriety. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to go out on the limb here and address the fact you and I know, but Paul, maybe I only want to do it for a part-time, small-time, little, you know, amateur level thing. Fine, that's great. That's fine. You don't need to. In fact, there are, and you've heard this too, there are responsibilities when you have a team of people working for you and you are bringing what you are bringing in such a way that it becomes an international touring successful situation. When it becomes a business, many people actually find that they don't like some of the aspects of the business. Now, I happen to like turning what I do into a business. I like that. I like making art and turning that art into a full-time touring thing. I like the adventure of it. I like that I can perform it sometimes for, you know, 10, 10 year olds. And the next day I can go to a theater and perform it for 1,000, 1,500, 2,500 people. You know, in towns that I've never been to before and get paid to be there. You know, yes, sometimes it's a pain in the ass. There is a lot of not getting to see a lovely town. A beautiful town in the middle of the summer. I don't even see it. I'm in my hotel room. I wake up. I go right to the theater. I spend the whole day in the theater. I get home to the hotel late in the evening, and then I'm exhausted, and I wake up the next day, and I, or that night, I travel to the next town. That is the anti-romance of doing that stuff on a professional level. The cool thing, and by the way, the Rolling Stones have the same bullshit, right? But the cool thing is that you also get treated very well in many places. Who do we have here? Yo, Bob, what's happening? Hey, 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 everybody. We've got something going on here. Who's this? Everybody, all these people. Happy New Year. Yes. Happy, happy, happy. Merry, merry, merry. And I hope you're enjoying yourself. In fact, for what it's worth, I'm talking about the entrepreneurship and the artistry, and they both get integrated together in order to make what you want to do into something at a relatively high level. You don't have to follow your passion to, you know, a large goal. I happen to like that. I do not have this romantic notion of what it means to you know, travel for a living and perform art of my own design, I take it very seriously. I take, I take the creative process. I, you know, clients come to me and they want what I know how to do and I take that very much to heart. I am very aware that they have invested money in me and the training that I give them is something that I pay close attention to and I make sure that they get where they need to go. I know the larger vision and the longer tortuous path that they will take for me to get them where they need to go and I have to keep my eye on the whole thing while they are in the middle of it trying to trust me, wanting to trust me, enjoying the process, sometimes being, you know, bogged down by the difficulty of the stuff because it's all part of a larger challenge to understand and learn and internalize a method that you can then use. And that's why my stuff costs a decent amount of money. I invest a lot of time in those people. The less that I have to invest at a lower level of investment, the less amount of time I need to devote to each individual, the less expensive the, you know, the that particular offer of service will be. 
the higher investment, especially the one-on-one -on -one stuff, the individual custom coaching, that's a very high level. And I take that seriously and that costs more money. There's lots of people who come to me, enjoy the process. Yeah, we have to enjoy the process. I agree with you completely. <coughs> It needs to be exciting. It needs to be unusual. It needs to be venturing into the unknown. As long as it's not completely floundering in the dark, that's why people hire me. I, you know, or any coach for that matter, you have people who will help guide you through to the clarity. And in the meantime, that journey is unknown to you, but it's known to the people who are guiding you so that it's something that can be parsed, can be examined, can be analyzed, can be implemented, critiqued, tweaked, adjusted, improved, right? I just wanted to say something about <coughs> this entrepreneurial artistry. Because I have some conversations I'm engaged in with some people right now who are very keen on getting, on extracting, on unleashing that combination of business, the coaching business that they may or may not have, and the artistic side that they may or may not want to improve or have already, or see what it can turn into. And my claim when I talk to these people, this is something I'm sharing with you now because I want you to understand where I'm coming from. When you do this stuff, when you are interested in this entrepreneurship coupled with the artistry, we should have a, you know, a, a talk about this because whether it's simply art on its own, for its own purposes, the art needs the entrepreneurship layered on top. And if it's business, I'll put the business over here. And if it's the entrepreneurship and the business itself, then it will be asking for, be begging for you to add the, on, the artistry, the creativity, the unique mechanism that makes it captivating and fascinating, and that's a layer on top of the business. So we have the artistry and the entrepreneurship, and they both get integrated. And if you're just doing your art, and you want to pull that stuff forward into your next incarnation of self. That requires understanding how to do that. And the best way to do that is to actually couple with someone who's been doing it for a long time, who understands all of the different permutations and possibilities and gives you the space to be able to choose, but also recognizes what is potentially lying ahead so that person can pull you into your next incarnation of self. If you are doing your business, you want your business, especially in this online space, right? You want your business to actually stand out on its own badass, unique, fascinating, authentic, compelling, energetic, inspirational, motivational message of its own. And the way to do that is without those bullshit scripts. Those bullshit scripts, you know I talk about this before, that scripted bullshit sucks. And it will take you nowhere. Actually, you're not interested in that scripted bullshit. I know you're better than that, and I know that you know you deserve better than that, and that's why you talk to me. As for all of those other Amateur level bozo, drippy nose knuckleheads who are using that scripted bullshit, they can have it. Let them die a slow, silent death. Do I want them to? No. Will they? Probably.
because they will sound like everybody else. And we crave authenticity and we crave unique, special honesty. And that is where your entrepreneurship can extract and unleash that badassery that you and only you have. And that's why it's entrepreneurial artistry. It's both coupled together, you see. If all you want is to improve your art, you want this. If all you want is to improve your business, you still want this. You don't have to get it from me. I'm not saying I'm the only game in town. I'm just saying that most of that other stuff is like, you know, not doing what I do. Because most of those other people are offering scripted crap, and scripted crap sucks. Is this for you? Yeah, probably. Why do I know? Because I've taught countless thousands of people over many decades. Whether they are doctors, lawyers, philosophers, psychiatrists, healers, business coaches, public speakers, artists, performers, singers, painters, musicians of all kind, actors, dancers, and sculptors or anything else that I've not mentioned that is your particular, you know, groove. I've taught these people, and does it work the same way for everybody? No. But when you understand that what you're trying to do, regardless of you being an actor or, a, a you know, a person in the performing world or a person in the business world, when you get out here and bring your shizzle like gangbusters, coming from a place of honesty and core truth, the world is yours. It's an oyster ready to be polished buffed up all shiny and set in a nice frame. However, <laughs> but there are all of those out there who are offering that scripted bullshit and the difference is that when you unleash your own unique entrepreneurial artistry, you polish an oyster. When you use someone's scripted bullshit, you polish a turd. Do I need to give you examples? I don't need to, do I? The turd that people are trying to polish is the same smelly, Peanut encrusted crappy chunklet, no matter who's putting it out there. Shame on them for not recognizing that this online space is video, is king and queen, and that trumps everything. And yes, I know I said the name of the person, but screw that. The fact is that the word. Yes, it adds clout and it supersedes. How's that for getting around that? That's a nice workaround. <coughs> if you don't do it your own way, with unique, badass, powerful impact, why would you choose to even be in the game? 
you can take that stupid, cheesy ass crap and use it as a stepping stone. But there comes a point when you have to get away from that, when you have to abandon that and you have to embrace your larger, more profound self. <laughs> Spirit away, my fine friend. How you doing there? Should we be talking? Shouldn't we be talking soon? So I have nothing against all of those people who are selling that scripted crap because they can't teach things that they can't. They can't sell stuff that they can't teach, and they can't teach what I know. Therefore, they relegate themselves to a lower echelon of the lack of badassery, the anti-badassery, the scripted bullshit. Fine. Okay. They have to make a buck. They have to try to convince you of that. But don't be deluded. When you are ready to watch people come to you because you are fascinating, compelling, and authentically opinionated with your own desire to truly help people, you want to learn how to extract that stuff and bring it in such a way that lets people come to you instead of having to put the grips on them with all of that sales call NLP strategy closing scripted bullshit which you have to connive and conjole and manipulate people with and put pressure on them to get a sale instead of bringing it big and letting them show up when they're ready. Because I'm guessing that, like me, you also want to have 10K weeks. You want to also, like me, have the occasional 18K weekend. You want to have money coming in for what you are worth and what you bring. And you deserve to do that. And the only way you are is by not stepping into the similarity pool. Generic, redunculous, miserable poop, polishing the turd that passes for acceptable content and makes you secretly want to puke before you swipe right or left and get away from those people. Bring it as only you can. Entrepreneurship, creativity. That's entrepreneurial artistry. And that's why I say it's a many-headed beast. And that's also why in the, in, in, in the post uh, title, I say that it is method plus strategy for both. Method of artistry plus strategy of artistry coupled with method of entrepreneurship with the strategy of the entrepreneurship. When this makes sense, book your call. I will make you a discounted deal on the strategy call. Does this stuff cost money? Yes. Do I screen you and make sure that I understand how I can best help you and whether or not we will be a good fit before getting on a call? Yes. It's because I don't want to waste your time and I don't want to waste my time. And I take the shit seriously. Everything I say, I say deliberately. And every act within doing this stuff is thoughtful. Because I care. I want you to be the antidote to all of those turd polishers.
Capês? É, e o capito? <laughs> When you're ready, book a call. I will also, if you can't afford to jump in right now, I will give you the opportunity to step up and reserve this locked-in current price for later at an affordable down payment, enabling you to not have to worry anymore about whether or not you need to wonder what my price structure is in March or half a year from now. You can lock it in with a down payment because I want to help you. All you have to do is pony up a little bit for a down payment that enables you to no longer have to worry about it. And then you can just start saving some money, setting it aside so you can afford the rest. And then you can jump in and you know exactly what the terms are. <coughs> That's as close as I get to a hard sell. I'm not like that. I'm not interested in... not interested in being one of those. I'm not interested in, in, in being one of those those guys. <laughs> This is truth. And in the meantime, because we're almost at the New Year's, I wish you very, very best, safest, happiest, as best as you can be, loving time with your best beloveds. And if you need a few days, I'm going to be raising my prices at the beginning of January. So you might, you might consider, you know, locking in something now with a down payment. I mean, that's your choice. My stuff keeps going up over time because my rules, I'm steering my own ship. So that's it, and that's all for now. Adios, my fine compadres, amigos. Happy New Year. I mean that. Happy. New. And, of course, time continues to march forward. Go get them. I'm on your side. Catch you soon.